Yeah, this is a very exciting fight. It's Adrian Yanez versus Vincia Salvador. Uh, one of the most difficult fights to probably predict on this whole entire card, but another one with disgusting money lines. All these fucking fights so far are just absolutely poo-poo for fucking money lines and odds in general. Another rough night at the office, but Yanez is currently a minus 360. Salvador is currently a plus 285. Good matchmaking, I'll say, because they're both coming off two losses. Uh, so Yanez is coming off a loss to Jonathan Martinez October last year, leg kick loss in round two, lost to Rob Font round one uh, April last year. And then other than that, he was fucking on a hell of a tear before that one, two, three, four, five fucking fight win streak and had finished them all except for one split decision loss. So, yeah, unfortunately, Yanez has kind of lost a lot of momentum. He was kind of billed in the shark tank that is 135, the bantamweight division, as one of the hot up-and-coming guys, you know, making a serious run at getting a title shot, and he's lost that momentum, unfortunately. And then C.S. Salvador is also on the two-fight skid, as I mentioned, but his two fights are uh, unanimous decision losses uh, July last year to C.J. Vergara, and March last year to Victor Altamirano. And then other than that, that's his only two official fights in the UFC. He got his contract from Contender Series two years ago and kind of been inactive since then. And that's pretty much the story of his career. So if he loses to Yunez, he could potentially see himself on the chopping block, I feel like, unfortunately. And... This is a fight where, once again, why are the odds this this far apart, especially when one guy, his two-fight skid is coming from unanimous decision losses, and the other guy, his two-fight skid's coming from being fucking finished by strikes. This is the shit that doesn't make sense to me. I get he was on a five-fight streak before that, but this is a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately-ass sport, and... People move on fast. The game moves on quick. And it doesn't matter that you are on a five-fight fucking win streak if you end up like James Vick. And James Vick, nobody knows about his fucking win streak and nobody gives a shit about it because after Justin Gaethje, he got kicked out of the fucking UFC. That was the end. That started the spiral. So this is tough because as much as I like Adrian Yanez and I've been slobbing his fucking knob as the bantamweight dark horse uh, guy, once again, I'm like, why not go with fucking Vincia Salvador? What do you have to lose at that fucking point with odds that disgusting? I mean, once again, Vegas is always going to see something I don't. That's why Vegas is, you know, usually the motherfuckers winning and the ones taking your money instead of you taking their money. But this show comes here to take Vegas's money and more so than any other MMA betting show out on the fucking airwaves and in the internet has succeeded in doing so at a higher percentage than any other fucking show. So, that means, i.e., for you fucking idiots out there who don't understand, <laughs> let me put it in layman's terms for you. I'm going to grab my balls and do what the fuck I want to do because 95% of the time we've been Vegas over the fucking desk. So, uh, fuck it. Then see a Salvador money line. Why not? Guy's been finished already. Uh, what's... Oh, fuck. That's right. This is like his third UFC fight overall. Eh, let me rethink that since Yanez does have the UFC experience. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. Yanez has, you know, seven UFC fights to fucking Salvador's three. And the UFC is a whole different fucking ball game compared to where Salvador was fighting previously, which was Pentagon Combat, Arena Global, Federacio Fight, Chuto Brazil, Max Fight, I wonder if that's like Max at night, skin of Max. Uh, Max Fight 19, Max Fight 21, Backdoor Sluts 9, no, excuse me, <laughs> Jungle Fight 17, another Pentagon Combat. All right, maybe I get it now. Eh, Adrian Nunez money line. I'll be safe. I'll play it fucking safe. What do you see? Man, the way I'm seeing it is that Salvador has low hands. He's got good head movement, which I think could get him in trouble. He likes doing the whole boxing. My hands head are movement. down. My head movement. Head movement. And with a guy as crispy as Yanez is, like, I think that the hubris of Salvador might get the best of him. 
Uh, he doesn't attack too. Like he will, he does the whole boxing thing. He'll get up against the cage and just try to, I, I don't know what the right word is, but just like annoy you and get you to do something stupid than attack. Ganez, Sound like a rope a dope, except without the boxing ropes. Yes. You can't really do that. You use the cage to do it. Yes, absolutely that. No. Uh, KO, he's a KO artist, man. And I think his two losses are against much better competition than Salvador's two losses. And Yana, he seems like he's going into this fight very motivated. He said he wants to either finish this fight or win in dominating fashion. And so when I hear guys that are talking like that, that are like kind of pissed off with their recent performance, I kind of like to get on that train. Um, minus 360. God, I could see it just like he said. I could see him getting the knockout or I could see him winning this in like unanimous fashion. I guess I'll do... Do knockout. Oh, I I want to. I want because what I was saying, low hands, good head movement, doesn't attack. Oh, I want to. That's that's the way I'm leaning. Mm. Do it, fucking do it. This is the time. <laughs> At last, we will have our revenge. That's did you fucking take Darth Sidious says to Darth Maul? Did you take the safe side? Did you take the Yanez money line? Uh, yes, I took just the money line. Okay. Well, if one of us plays it safe, then I'll do it, Bobby. I'll take the knockout. There we go. <laughs> Let's there throw it go. in, man. Then you can blame it on me as the bad decision. <laughs> I'm well, the reason why you got the DUI. I made you drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're being smart about it. So I get my ass on the graphic beyond the knockout. <laughs> so if it doesn't pan out, I get people coming after me. <laughs> Yeah, after the fight, not before. (laughs) You better start listening to the Better in Green podcast. You will not regret it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And hey, I'm Dean Blandino. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better in Green, eh? all about come on let's make cash now we always on spot and we cover old spot from the bottom to the top hey shout out to ethan shout out to wyatt shout out to ben welcome welcome to our podcast better win green